That, my friends, is what happens when you put Spongebob music through an AI. Now, excuse me while I wait for OBS to stop overloading my encoding. Okay. Sp spung. Spung time. I really feel like that should be a chain reaction. At least you can do this, though. Is this an actual door I can open? Okay, okay. The courtyard stable. Let's change costumes. Shipment of pro aging cream just went out. Those bandits have really cornered the old lady market. Oh, I see that in there. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
No, don't do that. I was using that. Oh, okay, there's logs over here. Also, you can't do that. Okay, never mind. Never mind that. trapped in this cage oh boy oh boy maybe it's a giraffe we should probably free it from its cage whatever it is okay locate the key key is up there i guess but then how do you get up there a little dabble, do ya? question we all have to ask ourselves No, it's all right. I don't need to hear that. Sticky sweet. Well, there's a barrel. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to keep an eye on it. Make sure it's not acting up. Oh, you thought you could hide that. You thought I wouldn't see that, did you? Did not you? Will I slide off of this? No, I won't. Okay, so there's the building. So you just, you need to sort of come in from the back. See, there it is. Down there. How much would I require for thee to participate in conversing in ye old English? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure that I feel in the mood to engage in such fr frivolities. But now I must engage in doing platforming that I've already done because I had to fall down. No, this is a different thing. Yeah, see, this is one of them open areas I was talking about. Sticky sweet. Just kind of, you know, opens up. And it's like, go find... The random doodads. Please locate the doodads. No, I'm not going down there right now. Ain't doing it. Taint. Yeah, I've already been over here. This was the area. The clock tower. A little bit wacky that. Hey, that hit him. Oh, 
Oh, that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Silly me for thinking I could just jump down there. Silly, silly me. It's going to be something very silly. I can already tell you that. Okay, so there's more keys. How do I get up there? Oh wait, wait, I see. I see. I see. And you call it Cosmic Shake despite the fact it is obviously Battle for Bikini Bottom. Didn't need, didn't need to do it. Did not need to do it. Oh, wait, wait, there was a trampoline back there. No, wait, that's a trampoline I could always get to. And in fact, in fact, that may have been the quicker way to get what I wanted. I knew I'd key in on this one soon. Yeah, I was already down. I was already down here. You gotta love a good tower. Thank you for that. Yeah, just do it. Just do it three times. Okay, is that good? Yeah, that's good. So that there is no doubt. That's all the keys! Now we can go free the animal! You know, that reminds me of something, like some kind of cool indie game somebody made at some point. The name escapes me though. seen such a majestic creature the colorful mane the sparkly eyes and that piece of bubble wand in its mouth quick we have to catch it oh on rail section it's too pretty. i mean not you know literally on rails because that would be grinding. Wait, unicorn, come back, come back. I mean, that being said, a lot of games have been adding grinding lately. Like they put grinding in Crash Bandicoot. They put grinding in freaking Zelda. <laughs> of all the things that I thought, like, you know, when I was playing Breath of the Wild, I wasn't really thinking, man, you guys. This game is cool and all, but it really needs grinding. But I guess that's why I don't work at Nintendo. Nice. Oh, 
Wood? Wood just is not strong in this universe. Underwater wood just does not hold up. <gasps> it's the Hobbit house. Patrick, look! That old house looks like it belongs to a witch. Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, wait. Suspicious side area. Oh, it's just for underpants. People just be uh, just be leaving perfectly good underpants lying around. Or at least I hope they're perfectly good. You know, frankly, I wouldn't be putting on <laughs> random underwear that I just found laying about. I'm pretty sure that's how you get some variant of disease, or at least rash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, crap. I have been set back a bit. I mean, this is very clearly something, but I don't think I can do anything with it. I'm assuming I just can't get up there from here. Or at least in no way that is remotely practical. Oh wait, there's that down there. Oh, oh, doubloon. Doubloon. Need. Yellow Knight, isn't she a good girl? I'm Twitchy the Witchy. And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your uh, handsome pet because it took. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. Then I'm afraid you will have to die. How it for some of that miraculous wrinklies pro aging cream my coven has been buzzing about yeah they're they're doing this too much at this point like in in the movie when it was funny it, it's kind of overdone kind of worn out it's welcome see, it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age you got it twitchy one batch of wrinklies pro aging cream coming right up how hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Meanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up the baby-faced bandits. Trade you for it. You got it. Oh. Nope, can't stand on that. Look at me go! There we go. Now I got sit. Can I get up there? Uh, results inconclusive. I may just have to go back up the hard way. But I definitely need that doubloon. Yeah, right over there. I mean, I'm guessing that once I complete, like, her mission, that I might get, like, some kind of... I mean, I already activated the checkpoint, though, so maybe not. 
Yeah, that's that's the way I'm supposed to go. But I really want that. So you know what? Let's let's see how far I can make it. Oh yeah, this is no problem at all. Literally not an issue. And now I have to get back up there again. The Krusty Krab Pizza is a pizza for you and me. I wish you could, like, retain the momentum in midair. That would be useful. It would make for quality movement. No, not this again. And it breaks. It breaketh beneath me. They really like this structure, don't they? Sweet. Oh, the river rapids. Gee, that river looks so scenic. I could just swim in it. I probably couldn't swim out of it, though. Much faster. Much faster. This is now the speed run. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know a secret. When I, when I seize a secret, I know what a secret looks like, let me tell you. Ow. Ow. Did that take two health? What bunk? Okay, I can't walk over there, but there's a collectible. There's a collectible inside the invisible wall. And you can only collect it because of the magnetism. God, I am so glad that I worked out the performance issues because the, now this is running like so good a little dabble do ya uh, i think you lost your pants you know actually i just realized that i don't think spongebob's been commenting on the different enemy types that's something he did in battle for bikini bottom i don't think he could use a hand <laughs> He is, however, commenting very frequently on the collectibles. Oh, I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. Yeah, that feels really good to do. Hmm, I guess I don't want to go over there. I mean, I'd hide something over there. But you know, not everybody is me. <laughs> I also wouldn't have done that. Okay, now what is this? Oh, it's a shortcut. Nice. Nice. Oh, there's spots. Um, huh? You s say what now? I mean, I guess you gotta hit it before you go off the board. 
Uh, I'm not sure how though. It's a little too high. There we go. Okay. Okay, but now I am in a bind. You really are my best friend. Okay, I need to get off of Butt Island. Okay. What do you mean I can't kick that from here? golden spatula that I don't yeah this worm is coded very questionably oh dear I am I am not in a good spot I dare say that should these events not be departed from that I may die I need that. I don't know why I need that, but I need that. Can I stand here? Yes. The answer is yes. Again, game, if you could do me the solid of telling me what I need those for, <laughs> that would be lovely. Because inquiring minds truly would like to know. She's gonna be so excited when she sees how ugly this will make her. A little dabble do ya. It unlocks bonus content. Okay. Like in the extras menu or something? Wait, awards. No, that's the achievement. Wait, what's control scheme? Oh, yeah, you can't change that. It's just telling you. Oh, you're still alive? Good for ye. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling has begun. Good job, you two. Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. Oh, da 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 have to make the meme face. I doth insist you make the meme face. And now we get to go in reverse. Whoa! Whoa! Fast! Fast! Please tell me I unlock this in the hub after this. behind the building. Can I stand on the doer? No, I can't. I need to get up on the roof. The crusty crab pizza is a pizza. A little dab will do ya. 
I mean, do I really need to? Probably not, but... No, 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 I don't want to go back! No, no! Stop! <laughs> Stop! I just thought I could maybe ride it over there now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Can I warp? Yes, I can warp, okay. I thought I saw a sponge chasing a unicorn earlier, but it must be my eyesight. Someone should really invent glasses. I'm feeling better already. Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on I the King's bards to heed her casting, uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we gonna find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh yeah, that's what I meant too. Okay, now I need to join a band. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I heard there were no witches allowed. Wait. Nope, can't stand on that. If Squid Note plays again this year, I might finally feed myself to a sea dragon. If I be to listen to me, Mom, oh, may I live in the castle one day? Oh, it's a bouncy thing. I'm not sure if that helps me in any notable way, but it, it is. They had yeah. many a time. Bet you can't pop all the balloons in the courtyard faster than me. I'm the courtyard balloon popping champion. That's a very specific thing to be champion of. Understand what this is for now. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. You like Mr. Krabs. Well, that was pretty easy. Look at me go! Oh, am I gonna have to play Simon? Another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah, thou hath until I fall asleep of thine mediocrity. Hey Dustin, how's the spanch bat going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Amazeth me. 
Okay, what are we doing? Oh, it, oh, it, yep, it's Simon. Remember the code. Remember. Hear ye, hear ye. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Huzzah! Ugh. I'm a wee bit drowsy. I won't lie to you. I ain't been getting enough sleep. that was. <laughs> Maybe you should Pokemon Go to Pokemon Sleep. I, I can't believe they didn't cancel that. I still don't understand what the point is, but you know. Oh hey, I think I can skip <laughs> skip this guy this time. Platforming challenge of some kind. Except I'm not really doing any. Oh wait, here's the platforming that I was promised. Not, not even fighting that guy. <laughs> you can let Pikachu run up your Wi-Fi bill while you sleep like us 90s kids always dreamed of. Oh, yeah. Sticky sweet. That cover my buns. You know, I think the castle may have a little bit of water damage. Okay, he's just, again, fishing, which is a little bit concerning. I'd wager, I'd, in fact, I'd wager that the entire thing is underwater. Okay, I'm sorry, goo damage. Though, technically speaking, underwater lakes do exist. Like brine pools or something. The crusty crab pizza is the pizza. Right, is that a doubloon up there? Yep. Gonna need that. A little dabble. No more chasing.
Okay, that leads over there. You can, uh... Get, like, a super... A super slime. Or whatever that's called, I don't even know. Or something. Something going on over there. Is there anything behind those crates? I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> the writers forget the show takes place underwater sometimes. True. Hey, we're underwater. How can there be a... Nothing down there. At least as far as I can tell. But really, all I can do is tell you what I perceive. Oh, no, 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 no. You really are my best friend. The music gets kind of loud here sometimes. There's a guy up there. And again, with this, this structure right here. Must have been a preset of some kind. Another shortcut, you know, just in case you need it. Just in case. Anyway, let's go in here. I think these guys may have something to do with it. These weird squishy monsters ruined my slumber party. The waiting staff have all fled. Who will serve my guests their well-earned cake slices? You? As if I'm a princess, you royal dupes. That would be totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl, I mean, Princess Pearl, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the epic cake. Let them eat cake! This buffet is all you can beat! <gasps> <gasps> the twist. Okay, that didn't count. This cake is fragile. We have to be your cake, good sir. Throw the ball without tripping, huh? Well, this cake is fragile. We have your cake, good sir. Doesn't seem that fragile. <laughs> wow. There's a lot going on in this part. Give me that. Give me the cake. Give me the cake. This cake is fragile. Oh, it is right there, soft shoe. Okay, they didn't. They didn't get it. This cake is fragile. There we go. Nope. No. No. Uh. Much stun. Order up. 
Yeah, man, I love Ocarina of Time. The Legend of Pearl, the clarinet of time. Crap. I agree, leave the little guy alone. Oh no, not biggest, not the biggest dickos. Ow. No, no, no. A deed. My slumber party was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sand. Glad Gruntilda's still yeah, getting work. Ball. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. Oh. This music is terrible. Thankfully, I'm the invisible man. Is here now. Let the real festivity begin. <laughs> He finally got that pie he was waiting for. Tartar sauce. <laughs> what? Why tartar sauce? Oh no, we took some a little bit of medieval back with us. Best party ever! I could totally hug you right now, but I don't want to pop you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon. You can still hug me. <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it. And he pops Let's anyway. It, Patrick. Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Oh, so we're approaching the end, I think. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting. Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you. Now I have to go find my dad to make sure he's okay. What's driving me to the mall? They're having a sale on princess dresses. <laughs> Later! That should cover my buns. So, is there some kind of, like, obstacle course here? Talk to Cassandra. Well, just a minute. Just a minute. Sticky sweet. Well, I mean, it said there is a unicorn this way. Mr. Krabs already back. Yeah. He was actually the first one we got. Still don't think there's anything over here. Who's left? I think they said everybody's back, but we need to get the crusty crab. Please bring me new. Oh yeah, the good noodle stars. I haven't seen any of those. Have not seen any. Oh, not the worm in the hub world. I almost have all the sweet, sweet jelly I need to fix your little mishap. But watch out, my darling. Your next journey will take you to a place where fun and fear have become one and the same. You'll have to go back to the amusement park called Glove World. Yay! We'll see about that. Your costume is almost complete, but to get you into Glove World, it's missing one more uh, ingredient. The breath of a pufferfish. Maybe 
Mrs. Puff knows where we can get the breath of a puffer fish. After all, she is a teacher. This glove hat can only mean one thing. You can finally shake hands with your whole head now. <laughs> going on oh we got to collect those don't we I see no I, I can't go down there right now So this is why all this stuff was here. How do I... How do I get back up? Oh, okay, you just do that. The town has really changed, man. Okay, now... So how do I get over there though? Is there like a hoverboard that I missed? Oh no wait, there's a rock. You just ride the rock. Oh no, I didn't mean to do- No! No! Okay, yes, I'm the spongeinator, but has really changed, man. Well, now what? <laughs> I kind of needed that. Oh wait, it's over there. The crusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. Order up. I most certainly won't. Oh, please. please oh, wait, this is the music please. I just realized. Uh -huh. oh. Don't, don't do it. Good luck, SpongeBob. Dude. Don't mess this up. Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. We have this under control. Oh, wait, wait. No, there's a note I wanted to collect. Okay. Oh. Mrs. Puff sure must have fun doing this all the time. <laughs> Am I right, Patrick? Agent Poor Bearer calling for best friend support. Over. Patrick? Game over. Uh, First music. I lost bottom, and now I've lost my best friend. Loser. <laughs> no, I can't lose as long as I keep trying. I'm gonna find Patrick, and together we will bring Bikini Bottom back to normal. Okay, so I believe this is the last stage. Or at least the last proper stage. Yeah. 
<laughs> you recognize this, anybody? Yep, it's the reaction image. Silly. Step right up and whack yourself a prize. Wait, what, what do I do? Oh, no, wait, I, I'm not supposed to do it. Oh, you, you kick it, you kick it. And you don't kick Patrick. Because of course you don't, that's just not very nice. Devil's advocate coolified. You maybe you don't have to do anything at all. You know, sometimes it's it's just it's okay to just be yourself. Oh no, I'm not going to make it. Wait, did I lose the did I lose the tokens? No, I still I still got them. Cannot help you. I have a feeling there's a combination that I'm going to have to enter with these gongs. There it is. It makes me want a boogie. It's a glove heart, Patrick. Oh, don't, no, you don't need to. You don't need to play that. Don't worry about it. It's it's cool. Sticky sweet. <laughs> Patrick sure doesn't look like he's having fun in that picture. Maybe he's screaming with joy. Well, this is a weird direction to take this. Oh, 
I mean, these are some good callbacks right here. They're... We ride all the rides together and eat heaps of ice cream. But without him, I'd just end up heartburned. Bubbles away! Yeah, see, look. Look, Tiki float. Wait, that it fell down eventually. You know, I'm just going to say it. The collision in this game could maybe use a little bit of work. There's potentially some fixing to be done. Yeah, I can't stand here and do this all day. It just take way too long. Oh, oh. Did I did I cut does that mean I collected all of them? I got an achievement. I mean I guess I could find out. It's not hard to just look for the Sherlock Holmes hat. There we go. Find the secret in every level, so I guess I guess so. Get back to the front. Which is not a statement that is confusing in the slightest. Yeah, I don't need a citation on that. I'm sure he's telling the truth. I'm trying so hard for that not to hit me, but it hasn't been working so far. I need this. <laughs> well, that wasn't well thought out. All right, square pants. You've made it this far. You have to keep going. You can't turn your back on your best friend. After all, you have to talk to yourself when he's not around. was the exit I didn't realize it was kind of peculiar how that all played out finally So 
you just get a gun. Okay, don't don't do that though. Okay, now what is? Oh, that's what shoot looks like. So you gotta, you gotta let it go. This is really similar to how it works in Super Sponge. Yeah, I think I remember that. That's another one I'm gonna have to check out on stream at some point, though. I uh, was not as big a fan of that one based on what I played. It's got a cool aesthetic, at least. But in terms of actually being a game that you play, I... I don't know if I was feeling it. That being said, it, it's probably better than Revenge of the Flying Dutchman based on what I've heard. People do not like that one. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I'm not supposed to be up there. Order up. GBA version plays better, but is also scummier from the audiovisual perspective. Yeah, I've actually heard that from, uh, from Kirby. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that guy has mini health. Okay, so you can suck those up. Ow. I don't think Glove World Jail is an attraction. You might be on to something. Okay, gotta get rid of this. Oh, I got yeeted. Oh, the movie theater. Can I... Can I pay, like, five million shiny objects for... to see concept art? Oh, there's Spot. Well, either way, there we go. A little dab will do ya. I hope this isn't progress. Hurry, hurry, keep your eyes on the prize. You just get like little mini games.
Mm, this painting changing technology. Very impressive. If I was a kid playing this, I could see being mildly unsettled by Glovey's dialogue. Yeah, a little bit. Though, honestly, I, I would have foreshadowed it a little bit more. But then again, it's a Spongebob game, so maybe I'm asking a little too much. Yeah, bars. Bro, oh, mash, mash, mash. Oh, cramp, cramping up. Ah. Congratulations, you survived. Next. Hey, that's not even fair. You want to see what happens if I fail? All right. Nothing too extravagant, but... Ooh, ooh. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's, uh... You just kind of fall off of... Oh. Oh, it's if you hit the thing. I don't think I was hitting the thing, but you know. We can agree to disagree, I suppose. Rather big Ferris wheel. The gr maybe it's like in Mario 64 where the graphic and the hitbox are bound to different objects. Maybe. I also considered that, you know, maybe I was just, it was hitting me from behind where I couldn't really see it. It is here. Oh, if I'm this excited, I can only imagine how Squidward is going to feel. <laughs> and he kept, he kept talking during the death animation. That's, that's wonderful. See, like, yeah, look at this. Look at this. What's up with this? Why do some of them do this? Can I go through here? Yes, I can. And again, just floating in midair. Some of them fall, some of them don't. 
I don't know how they programmed it for it to work like that. This has been a fun level though. Very cool. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> it forces me to take best friends pictures. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Help has arrived. I'm your biggest fan in the whole world. Could you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? Anything for a fan. Well, in that case, how about letting Patrick go? Mm, no. Ever since you threw Bikini Bottom into outer cosmic chaos, all visitors are banished from this once beautiful oasis of fun. And with them, their adoration for me. Do you know what becomes of a glove without love? A G. I'm gonna go with G. <laughs> Stop smothering him! It's time I realized even the best glove can be cold. I won't let that happen to you, Glovey Glove. Hold on, Patrick. I'm coming. All right. It's go time. Okay. So I need to go over here. Get the reef blower. Okay, so yeah, you can do the pizza while, while you got this. And I'm guessing the process repeats. Second verse, same as the first. Oh no. This is horrible. Wait, why do they all have... Why do they all have one health? Missing. There's too much going on. Are they killing each other? That's kind of incredible if so. Oh no, the goop's killing him. Okay. I mean, hey, I asked for an alternate way to kill him and you know that, I guess that fits the bill. Does it kill you? Uh, no, I think it just hurts me. I mean, it doesn't kill them either, technically. It just, uh, again, it hurts them. Yeah, can I have some more of that? Oh no, he's dead. No, he's just over here now. Mm, I mean, I guess you could say, you know, it's meant to be like sort of demented. But this is not the music I would play for a big confrontation. I admire you, Glovey Glove, but you leave me no choice. Uh. 
Okay, it's a little bit better than that. Started getting like the book, like, like the AI generated song I played in the beginning. It's just hard to see your childhood heroes hit rock bottom. Don't worry, Patrick. I have something with me that can cheer up our friend. A Squidward action figure? Even better. You have a world of friends. You're right. I have a world of friends. They all adore my fixed smile and my haunting blank stare. Thank you. I always knew you'd come for me, SpongeBob. I will never leave you out of my sight ever again. Can't say Patrick. that. You're my best friend ever. Don't worry, Glovey Glove. I'll get Bikini Bottom back to normal and get lots of visitors back into Glove World to love you just like we do. SpongeBob. Oh, then, Arsh, Pinchbub. Freeze, you toxic yellow polluter. We've gotten reports from multiple sources with the same megalomaniacal voice that you are responsible for all this trash around the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket. You either pick it up or you pick jail. Whoa, I don't know where all this trash came from, but I do love to pick things up. Plus, it'll give me a chance to work with Bikini Bottom's finest, the Garbage Men. Sign me up. Oh. Oh wait, this is I uh, I may have to put on the morse for this. Yeah, I think I think I may have to put on the morse. Yeah, yeah. Morse required. Oh, you're supposed to be recycled. Old jokes. I can't believe the game is self aware. I may have to retry this. Hopefully, SpongeBob does not get imprisoned right away. Oh, it's like different categories. That's why it flew back out. It feels good to clean up the ocean. Who would leave all this trash around here? Er, SpongeBob, you found me trash. Okay, I got 13 seconds. I can do this. Take this trash where it belongs. We sure did a lot today. Well, it's been fun. See you later. Wait, Patrick. Shouldn't we bring the rest of the jelly to Cassandra so she can squeeze all those potatoes? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I can squeeze that in. All right. Ow. I think I actually took damage from that. Please, SpongeBob, you have to find me precious treasures. Pearl, the Krusty Krab, and me pennies. I'll even pay you the lot of respect. Oh, Mr. Krabs is going to pay me an exposure. Morse code is still going. Thanks for the heads up. I got it. Hmm, like a potion that does something magical. 
Well, magic is what caused this mess in the first place, but not potions. Ah. So if I go to medieval world, I can get a potion. Now, where was medieval world? The medieval sulfur field. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> Off he goes into the space Maybe between dimensions. Knows how to make a magic potion for Gary. Oh yeah! Let's get this potion in motion. Uh. Miss Twitchy, would you happen to know of a magic potion that could shrink a giant snail back down to normal size? Hmm. Giant snail, huh? Well, I got a potion for giant scallops, but that should work. Probably. Uh, just bring me the ingredients on this list. Can you make a potion that turns me back to normal, too? Ooh, something tells me you were never normal to begin with, kid. Oh, fought Shired. You are a good judge of character. One extra large half sweet decaf potion for an extra large snail coming up. Well, where do I do that? I guess in here. Oh, okay. The good noodle stars are in rock bottom. I'm debating what we should do about some of these like secondary objectives So okay, I I want you guys to give me your opinion Would you prefer if I went ahead and beat the game and then later on did like an extra stream Or two or three or seven or ten because we're really hungry Or would you prefer if I did this now and then finish the game? Okay, beat the game first. Got it. The people have spoken. Oh, he's still- he's still down there! Oh, this is probably... SpongeBob SquarePants! Oh, there he is! This time you took things too far! Well, well, well. His royal hiney finally decided to show up. This snail oil saleswoman <laughs> snail broke into oil. my royal bath time chamber and stole my bubble soap. She never posed any real danger until your can-do attitude enabled her! Do you have any idea how much power she'll wield once she has enough jelly? Now the queen of the ocean <gasps> with the power of the cosmic jelly. I will She's evil. She's according to my wishes. <laughs> SpongeBob, I have tolerated <laughs> your annoying little slip up for years now, but I have had it. Because of you, I have been kidnapped, I had to relearn to speak, and my toilet is clogged with jelly. Enough is enough. You know what? It's not that bad. I'll just get the plunger. You're going nowhere, my delicious little rage muffin. You have the perfect attitude to be my new Is she pet. flirting with Squidward? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's still down there. This is it, Patrick. My wishes may have shaken up the world, but the father is the one who's gone out of control. It's time to stop it for good and save our friends once and for all. They look really cool while we do it. Oh, oh. Oh. Woke up 
on the wrong side of the rock. Technically, you could say the final boss is also Squidward. Which, admittedly, I did not see coming. I will give it that. It really subverted my expectations. This is them making up for Robo Squidward. Yeah, I guess you could say that. It's just phase one of the fight. I mean, I hope you didn't just spoil it for me. I mean, honestly, I don't care that much, but, you know, just for future reference, if you did, uh, try, try not to do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need... We need the outfit. I'm all the time saying that. Oh, you were joking. Okay, that's fine then. You're back to normal. Yeah. What happened? And why does my mouth taste like jelly? Thanks, Neptune. I have to hand it to you, SpongeBob. Your quirky approach did what the Royal Guard failed to do. You apprehended Madame Cassandra. Of course, you also empowered her to nearly destroy us all. But that's jelly under the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dude. As a reward for your outstanding bravery, I shall grant you one final wish. So make it count. After today, there's only one thing I could wish for, and that is. That was fun! I wish we could do it all over again! <laughs> And that's how SpongeBob got stuck in a time loop. Oh. Sorry, uh, sweet victory. Probably gotta put on the Morse. So that was a pretty good game. I liked it. Like I've said, it's it's hard to say how it stacks up to my old childhood favorite. But I, I'm confident in saying it's good. The final boss is a little anticlimactic, I suppose. Assuming this isn't like Kirby 64 and there's some kind of secret super final boss. But somehow I also doubt that. Purple babies. You, you might want to get that checked out. I mean, I definitely get the sort of sensation like maybe, <laughs> maybe they started running out of time towards the end there. Like, I, I noticed a couple signs of like maybe being a little rushed. A licensed game rushed. How, have you ever heard of such a thing? Like, Spongebob especially would never rush one of his licensed games. You know, I phrased that like Spongebob himself is the one rushing it. Hey, Spongebob, me boy. We gotta get the game out for the Christmas season. 
Except this game came out in, like, <laughs> February, so that doesn't really apply. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe it wasn't rushed at all. But yeah, Squidward being the final boss is very interesting, and if it is indeed to make up for the fact that they sort of cock-blocked us with Robo Squidward in the remake, then I appreciate that. Like an actual Squidward boss fight. Honestly, I hope uh, Purple Lamp ends up making, you know, maybe one more of these. I don't know. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind another one. But I guess I wouldn't, would I? Either way, though, it, it's cool to get, like, a sort of spiritual successor to battle for Bikini Bottom, because that's something, you know, even if it's not perfect, it's something I never really expected would happen. You know? I thought that that was long behind us. So, it's, it's neat to, you know, have your expectations defied. Seems like a really cool game that maybe could have used an extra couple months in the oven. Yeah, that's about what I'd say, probably. Raid Cove Bar? Well, if he's still streaming by the time I'm done, maybe. Though, you know, Raid loses a little bit of the impact when half of <laughs> half of the Raid is someone who would usually be at his stream anyway. He is? Well, I mean, we're not done yet. We're still... We still got a little bit to go. Oh, oh. I, I know it's a ripoff of like an actual song, but this it really goes hard. Glovey Glove was John O'Hurley. Hmm, interesting. You can press B at any time. I know, but I mean, I don't. Uh, uh, uh. Axel! What if there's something funny at the end? SpongeBob version is the better bop. Honestly, maybe. was in this game. <laughs> I wonder if he's only in this game so they could reuse the model, or if they actually do want to, like, try to make Prawn happen. Yeah, it's Stadium Rave A. I remember a, a SIVA gonna rip that, uh, put this song in the background of, like, a Streets of Rage song. And I swear there is... there is seldom... A thing that is so dust and core as that. Which reminds me, there was this guy uh, who was like years and years ago making like a fan a fan game that was sort of like what if what if SpongeBob got a Konami beat him up, and I really wish he had finished that because it looked really cool. I think the Spongebob version is called Jellyfish Rave. No, no, they're right. It is called Stadium Rave A. Oh, okay, it's playing the song. You know what? You know what? Sure, we'll skip. Oh.
All right, so yeah. Ooh, more jelly. I wonder if there's like any cool extra Tell stuff. Me bring me something hot if you can find it. Oh yeah, that quest. Are there are there coins in the overworld? Because I did not find any of them. I mean, maybe there's not, and they're just there for the. Oh wait, wait, wait. Before we stop, if I do nothing else, well, if it isn't SpongeBob and Patrick. I need to get the. Uh, no I want to get the sticky change. note up there before I forget. <laughs> let me let me finish by doing that. A little dabble, do ya? Did I not already get that one? I mean, maybe they only have so many voice clips. I don't know. Well, either way, that was fun. Thank you for showing up, everybody. Let me let me see. How do I raid Kovar? I, I will be back, though, with more of this. I don't know when. It might be, like, after March. Because as uh, you, you may know, maybe... I, you know, I do like a sort of mini Mega Man marathon during March. So that's going to be, it's going to be fun. But anyway, let's see. Raid. It's Kovar. It's not much of a raid. But tell him a little dab will do ya. I'll see you around.